So here you are, that clutch situation that you want to win but usually just can't land the shots that you need to actually do it. Well don't worry, neither can I, but I can still win this round. Shooting a guy in the back is easy, shooting a guy actively shooting back is a little tougher, but sometimes you just get lucky. Dude, he's below. So now that I know he's below, what should I do? Well I killed the Thunderbird, remember? So there's gotta be some Kona stations around here somewhere to get my health like, back up before below. I fight the last one. Like, this Kona station wasn't charged, and I didn't have the time to wait, so I went looking for another which wasn't hard to find. After a few stimmies, I realize I don't have the bomb because it's in spawn, meaning the only option left at this point is to find this pulse and try to kill him. Take note of your inventory, I still have three flashbangs, and that's lesson number one. Flashes make for easy kills. Just watch. Some terrible shots, but it gets the job done. And did you notice my health at the end there? The pulse did 66 damage to me while he was blind, which would have been enough to kill me if I didn't grab those stims before. So every little thing adds up. Another thing you should be doing if you have bad aim is trying your hardest to not take gunfights, which might lead you to the question, how do you get kills without taking fights? Well, it's pretty simple actually. Sometimes you'll have to take gunfights, it's inevitable in a first person shooter, but you don't always have to. By opening different angles, it forces defenders into spots where they might not want to be. Here's a great example where I use Habana to get one of the easiest kills ever. Rather than opening the holes and just peeking them hoping to win my fight, I use the drone hole to blow this kid's ankles off instead. Wanna cash then? The cash guy's uh, on the drone hole. You can drone hole this guy. Hey, I'm gonna drone hole this guy. I don't have any more drones. Like I mentioned before, it is inevitable that you will have to take gunfights in this first person shooter. Obviously. So good aim definitely helps. Oh my. Oh my, One EV door. I can close your own. Hold on. I right, swung me. He's close EV. Swing the study door. Excuse me. I'm still on your cam. Audio near bar, but I can't tell. You remember lesson one? Take note of your inventory. You have three flashes. It might be top me. He's beyond bar somewhere. He's swinging vault. He's in vault. He's not getting real active on you. Oh, he's toast. Oh, yes. Oh, oh no oh, way, dude. Special, bro. Oh, now, this isn't just an attacker video, and there's tons of ways to get kills on defense without taking gunfights as well. Firstly, let's talk about C4 traps. C4s are commonly used for plant denial or just chucking it at an enemy nearby, but setting traps with them is very effective and a safe way to get kills, which again, requires no skill at all. This first C4 trap is using Thunderbird. Donate a Kona station to the attackers, and when they think they're getting a free stim for their good efforts, you can crush those hopes and dreams from anywhere on the map. Valk is actually ideal for these C4 traps when she's not banned. Just toss a camera in a room, the attackers will typically come through, preset your nitro underneath, and then just wait till the moment's right. This is an easy way to get kills if your aim is bad, but if it's incredible like mine, maybe you can even clutch up the round afterwards. Where is it, boys? This last one's not really a C4 trap, but if attackers don't open windows all the way when repelling, it can be a really easy C4 kill. If your aim is decent at least, you can quick peek off shields for easy kills too. Hold up, this isn't the right shield clip. There we go. Do it like this. Something else you need to start doing is abusing every single operator you possibly can. Bring ops like Blitz to blind people. Blind enemies don't stand a chance. And if that wasn't enough, here's a couple more examples just to really seal the deal for you. See the guy from there. 
Got him. But why bring flashes when we can just bring grenades? Because grenades are flashbangs that kill, right? The most effective way to get more kills though is better info. Having cameras in places the defenders aren't even aware of is literally freebies. Sometimes watching flank cams instead of always charging forward means free kills will walk right into you. Who would have thought shooting people in the side of the head could be so easy? And remember, you can always just bait your teammates. Just stay really close to them and make sure you've got their trade if they die. If you can do that, you're doing your part and there's nothing to be ashamed of. Just make sure you don't completely whiff or let them run off on their own or you might have some trouble with this. Yo, who wants to rush the lobby hatch with me? Five Let's do it. It's soft. No stopping. Let's go, let's go. He reinforced it. <laughs> That's not good. You can get the wall, though. You can get the wall. I'm with you, IQ. You can do whatever you want. Oh, we can still go down the hatch. Hell yeah. Let's go, let's go. Now, you could also run Blackbeard, which is basically like saying I've completely given up on my life. But, you never know, you could try it. No guarantee, I mean, if your aim sucks, you probably will still die at the same pace with BB. You only get a split second more. You kind of need good aim for BB, but who knows what you're doing. And as a defender, of course, you can also run the lethal trap ops. So, cap can or thorn, try to get some free kills this way, might be your best bet. stuck on bye bye thorns razor bloom traps are really good on entrances as well as spots like this where the default plant would go down one's on main stairs kid main stairs and wine oh let's go 